percent on top of that to get to their appropriations just to make sure that they have the spending limit covered. Which is about what we're at, or about 20? Yeah, just speak up. Which is about what we're at, 20%? I, I think yeah. it's less than that. I, I, to be honest with you, I'd have to go back to look sure. at the work papers to see. But generally speaking, there's either a contingency or a flat 10% or more that's added to the budget to get to the appropriation. Does that make sense? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. And then, and, and it might be a typo right there. It says $4 million. I think. Yep. One. You're right. Okay. So close um, to the game. Any other questions? I will. Yeah. Um, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, My pleasure. And um, I, I did want to thank Barbara too. Yeah. I, I just wanted to thank Barbara too for her help in, you know, in the audit. She's always very helpful to yep. us as well Good. and to all of us. And I know she will continue to be. <laughs> um, and um, thank you, and probably we'll be seeing you next year. I hope so. <laughs> yes. um, and, and please know that if you have any questions, I'd be happy to take your call or email, however you want to communicate thank you. with me. Thank you. Always thank available you. for you. Thanks a lot. At this point, we've had comment and a presentation. Um, thank you, um, At this point, I would like to um, entertain a motion for approval of the October board so meeting. So that, make that motion. Can second. I a second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? All right. The minutes are approved. Treasury's report. Rob. Okay. Um, this is not a significant month for revenue. Uh, we've received 34000 in real estate taxes, thirteen in general fund interest, uh, 7000 in replacement taxes, and 33000 in miscellaneous income. So. You know, this isn't anything extraordinary. It's also not an extraordinary month for expenses. We have spent just under 33%, and our four-month rate is 33%. So, um, you know, everything is pretty much where we forecast that it would be. Uh, there's nothing extraordinary in the uh, expenses. Um, you know, we're one-fourth of the way through the fiscal year, and we've spent one fourth, uh, of, I'm sorry, a third of the money, a third of the way through the fiscal year and a third of the, of the money has been expended. Mm -hmm. um, there are variations that occur from month to month uh, based on some expenditures that um, are paid annually. Uh, none of those occurred during this period. Um, the bottom line is that we are prepared to, you know, we um, I have nothing in the financial report that, that is extraordinary, um, and our next obligation is to approve the October bills and salaries, which you'll find in attachment three. So I so move. All right, we'll second. Ginny, uh, you have to call the roll on this then. Okay. Uh, Trustee Wolf? Aye. Trustee O'Loughlin? Aye. Trustee McDonald? Aye. Trustee Rogers? Yes. Trustee Johnson? Yes. Trustee George? Okay. Yes. Um, we've got the action items. We've got several of them. Um, the first is pretty straightforward, and that's an additional um, library closing day um, on March 1st, 2019 for Staff Institute Day. Uh, we typically do that, and we typically do it sort of separately because we're never, until the planning gets done, we're not quite sure what that date is. So could I get a motion to approve? A motion to approve that. Okay, Stuart approved. I second. And at least a second. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. The um, uh, library closing day is set for Staff Institute as our members. <coughs> okay, then we have two of the um, uh, sort of legal ones rel relative to the levy. We have the, uh, last month we uh, adopted in tentative form the levy for next year. Um, it, is, uh, it is located behind attachment four. It's ordinance 2018-2019-191. So we adopted it last month. We just had a hearing on that levy. Um, it is located, you know, the detail, it, it, there's no difference between what was 
voted on last month and what was voted on this month. Uh, as Ron noted, this is a 6% reduction over the levy that we adopted last year, um, which was a 2.5% reduction over the year prior. And I should note that, in fact, the way the calendar works, the 2.5% hits this year. So the audit doesn't reflect the decreased revenue because that closed July 30th. The 2.5% less hits this year, and starting in August, will the 6%. The so I just make that note there. And it's a little bit confusing sometimes when you sort of have to mm -hmm. think about adopting an ordinance and when the revenues actually come in. So with that introduction, could I get a motion May I ask to... one question, not a comment, but a question? Let's just get the motion on the floor. I have a motion to discussion. approve ordinance number 2018-19-191. I'll second okay. that. So it moves second. OK, Dan. Thanks. So um, we've been having a little discussion about transferring money to the Special Reserve Fund. Could you just explain, in the levy, if it says there'll be zero to be transferred in Section 5. Can you just sort of explain how that relates to our budget, which does allow for a transfer if we have uh, an operating surplus next year? I, um, you mentioned that we were discussing the transfer of the Special Review Fund. I'm not aware that we discussed transfer. Is it that we haven't? There's been no motion to transfer. No, I, we've had a, a policy discussion on whether we ought to be transferring any funds into right. the Special Reserve we Fund. We have had that. That's right. what I mean. And so I, when I saw the zero in the levy, I'm curious whether that restricts our ability to do so if we're saying in our levy we're not going to put anything into the Special Reserve Fund and how that all relates to okay. whether we're We are not we just, levying we funds to transfer August. to the Ch yeah. Special Reserve Fund. That doesn't prohibit us from transferring funds, but we are not levying funds to right. transfer to the Special Reserve Fund. Thank you. Okay. Let me clarify. The uh, budget and appropriation ordinance is our authority to spend. If we don't put the authority in the appropriation ordinance, then we are restricted for what we do. The levy is, the, is our request that the county apply to tax bills for the, the current fiscal year. They're different. They have different purposes. We never have levied to result in a transfer. But the appropriation ordinance gives us the authority to do so if the money is available and it's the judgment of the board that it's appropriate to do so. But this is not the budget appropriation ordinance. This is, this the, is levy. the levy. This is the go raise the funds the order to the clerk to, so, and we don't levy to transfer money to special reserve. And that's just the way it goes. So any further any further questions? OK, it's been moved and seconded. Um, this requires a lot. We'll call it. Go for it, Jane. <laughs> OK. Um, Trustee Wolf. Yes. Trustee O'Loughlin. Yes. Trustee McDonald. Yes. Trustee Rogers. Yes. Trustee Johnson. Uh, no. Okay. Trustee George. Yes. Okay. All right, the uh, levy passes. The second one is um, sort of a ministerial thing. It says uh, that if there's any limitation to the levy that the clerk needs to apply, to the that, that the limitation be applied to the corporate fund only, the general fund, leaving the other funds, the IMRF, the audit, and those guys intact. So they say, oh, no, Wilmette Public Library, you only get this much money. So those funds are intact. Mm -hmm. And the shortfall, because they do a lot of things uh, down in the clerk's office, so there are, there's the PTEL rate, and, you know, in terms of limitations, only applied to the corporate fund. So, in a sense, this is sort of a ministerial thing, but it does revolve about money. So, could I get a motion to? I motion um, we approve resolution number 2018 slash 19-195. I'll second it. Ginny seconded. Um, this one, since it involves money, okay. Can, um, Trustee Wolf. Aye. Trustee O'Loughlin. Aye. Trustee McDonald. Aye. 
Trusty Rogers. Yes. Trusty Johnson. Yes. Trusty George. Yes. Okay. Uh, and a report uh, located, thank you, um, and a report located behind attachment six. This is the second time we've seen this. Um, when it's, if we're happy with it, it will go up immediately. I, well, immediately. Mm -hmm. What's you know. the intended distribution date? Um, once it's approved, um, we'll apply any further edits that there may be to the document. There's a couple little details that we've noticed now since it got printed. Um, then it will be sent to the printer, and then it will be sent out to the post office. So I would say um, sometime next week. And we are mailing it? Yes. Okay. Um, if there are any changes, comments, Probably drafting at a committee meeting is not the best way to do that, but if somebody sees something between, you know, the next 24, we're over Thanksgiving dinner, please make sure uh, that you let Anthony know as soon as possible. Um, so if you feel like wants to be removed, that or just have another if he wants to remove, just go ahead and talk to Anthony about it. Right. Raise it with Anthony if you want to have something removed versus discuss it now. Uh, if there's something, some, you know, typo that has just skipped everybody's eyes, um, I mean, we don't want anything to go out that's not right. I have, th I have a couple of those, but I could just move over. Okay. I have one suggestion that is not a change in the text but it does represent something that we might be able to highlight more significantly than is presently here. And that is in the finance box on page three. I think we need to make the 3.9% of your property tax bill helps fund the library as prominent as you can. I, and, and I think that, it's very easily I, missed in the present format. And, and my concern is actually over that same box, and that's why I was asking Kathleen the question I was asking. You know, obviously in the media over the last, in the local media over the last several months, there's been some conversation about, about the library and the funding and things like that. And I, it's kind of like you, if you state it like this, I, I don't know that, I think, I think we need to revisit how we communicate this. And, and this is something that, that, as Lisa and I, as part of the communication department, want to do over the coming year. But that, that this doesn't really, this is going to create more confusion, I think, and, and, and more uh, misunderstanding about the library funding than what we have right here. And that's, that's my concern. So my feeling is we can put something in about how much of the tax bill goes to the library funding. Mm -hmm. But th th these two graphs here make it seem, I think, they don't reflect accurately. Um, this makes it look like we have a $1.2 million surplus that we're doing nothing with. But the and one thing that we had talked about uh, and I talked to Anthony, yeah. was putting a statement there saying that in the past, the last, all rehabil you know, all rehabs of such and such and such and such have been funded by the reserves right. resulting from there. Right, and, and I think, and, and right, and I think, I agree that we need, but, so this message doesn't, doesn't get into the recent history of the library in terms of what we had to do to protect the library in terms of both, because we went through a, a phase of normal operation construction, very major construction, impacted operation, and then kind of to anticipate what the maximum operation of the library could be for the whole community once we got through that construction. So we had a very, we had a very tricky uh, several years to navigate what the budget would be, and we wanted to do it all the time without shortchanging the community, um, which we did. But um, and I think, so, so this doesn't tell that story, and I think, I think by trying to tell just a small snapshot of the story, we're going to continue to kind of misrepresent to the general population of, of the Wilmette community how well we're doing with managing the budget and managing the funding of the library and not mm -hmm. overfunding it and not and not mismanaging it. But I think if you put that statement, I think the public has a right to see what's funded I, as well as what the expenditures. Oh, I and I and put the, and put a statement there, but to right. massage it. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Yes, go ahead. Yes. Should we go? Are you saying scrap this and do something different, or go with this and work? I, I, I think I think in the current climate, I think this is going to add more fuel to people that misunderstand the funding issues of the library over the past several months. And all it's going to do is create more people that are frustrated with the library potentially and confused about about what we've done and what we're doing going forward. And so my, my, my feeling is, to be honest, I think you're right, Lisa. We need to communicate things, but we need to get 
if we, we need to get ahead of the message here and, as, as opposed to being reactive. But it's an annual report. I know and what it is. if you look at most know, annual yeah. reports, you put in what the expenditures are, you put what the funding Yeah, but this is, but, right, yeah, but yeah. I think we're, we're getting on a really, but, it, but it, there's, there's a, to me, in my experience in this, and, and mm -hmm. I've worked on a few annual reports, there's, there's as I said, you, you want to kind of be able to put the picture succinctly, clearly, and in the, in the, in the, um, in an accurate context versus, again, a context now which may be very much skewed by people not understanding the things I just cited. Well, one of the ways you might do it is, and we can talk about it on Tuesday, yeah. is major renovations funded through in the last three years, the last five years. You could put an addendum there with the reserves from this. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you this. Um, yeah, I don't want to belabor this, this is, too long this now. This yeah. already uh, late. late. And you're yeah. Two months. But, Yes, too late. But it's worth maybe pushing it off if we feel as though it's worthwhile. Uh, because, you know, we, I mean, as you said, we do have a message. There are things that we have done uh, and maybe, maybe that this doesn't pick up well. I mean, there's, and we are planning, so get your calendars ready. We are planning a meeting in December. Frequently we have skipped the December meeting. So we can push this off.